So let's get into this gorgeous, kinky, textured unit from Wild African. This is the first wig I'm testing out since shaving my head due to my alopecia. So I am ready to try her on. Let's get into it. So here is the blue suede box the hair came packaged in and also in that box was this drawstring silk bag that I will be using to store the unit in later. Here is the wig straight out of the package. Absolutely gorgeous and mimics African American hair to the T. Thick ends and here is a look at the lace as well. I did request HD lace as well as bleached knots. So in a minute I'm going to slip this unit inside out so that you can see that inside cap construction. Here is a look at the lace where it was bleached and also as you can see it has a comb on this side as well as this side as well. I did not utilize them of course because I don't have hair. It also has this wild African wig band as well as a comb in the back and some lace and I may utilize the lace in the future but I didn't in this video. Here is a close-up look at the texture of this unit and the webs in the back. Wanted you to take a look at that. This is my 22 inch blockhead which I've had forever. We're we're gonna go ahead and get into some wig prep, blow dry, plus flat on this hair to make it a little bit more sleek for what we're going for. So yeah, here is a look at the lace. I'm gonna keep the middle part and I'm just gonna gently comb through this unit with the blow dry attachment just because I didn't feel like going to go grab my comb. So I'm just gonna gently just brush the unit backwards. All right, and then we're just gonna adhere the unit onto my blockhead with some T-pins. All right, so now that the unit is nice and secure, we're gonna go ahead and start to blow dry and flat on this unit. So of course, for protection, I wanna go ahead and apply a heat protectant all over this hair as I would to my own natural or relaxed hair. I'm also going in with my wax stick to take care of any flyaways that may be in the way and just to give me a little bit more of a sleek finish. So because I want this unit to lay flat, I'm going to go through sections as well with my wax stick to make sure everything is laying appropriately. So now I'm just gonna connect that blow dry attachment with my blow dryer, of course, and we're gonna gently blow dry this unit. I'm not going for bone straight in this particular video, so I'm just going for a light blow dry just to get everything silk and straight. So here's a look at how the unit looked after our blow dry session, and it's nice and sleek, but it still has a little bit of texture, which I love. So I'm gonna take these clips and just clip the hair away from the hairline so that I can manipulate it a little bit more. Here, I'm cutting out the ear tabs so that I can just put this unit on right away and I don't have to do too much customization. I decided to take that little piece of lace and do a lace test with my new adhesive that I am trying out from Eben. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of a test onto my skin and see how that goes. So yeah, this is just a little HD lace test to see how well the blendability is with my particular skin. So yeah, I just wanted to test that out and I was very, very happy with the results from the test. As you can see, it blends very well with my skin, so we're good to go. So here is my very old flat iron that I believe I purchased back when I lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin from like the mall. It still is very, very good to this day. As you can see, I have one side flat ironed and the other side is not so I'm just going to do the comb and chase method as you can see here going straight down the hair catching it and then just giving it about two passes again we're not going for bone straight still want to see a little bit of texture in the unit but I also want to go for a little bit more of a sleek look as well so that is what it is giving now that we're all done flat ironing this is how the hair is looking so to add a little bit of color to the lace, I'm using this lace spray here, which I will link down below, just to add a little bit of color to the lace. All right, and as you can see, that is a really, really nice match. This is my first time using that lace spray, so that was a really, really good first impression. Okay, y'all, so I'm testing out the ball cap method because although I am bald, my hair still peeks through the wig cap, and I wanted to go for a very sleek and finished look, so I wanted to try out the ball cap method. So here is me struggling through that <laughs> as well. This is my first time actually trying it out. I did go ahead and adhere the ball cap with this glue and this is the got to be glue in the blue 
in the blue, in the black bottle. So I went through that whole process and I also used my even spray just to make sure that I add a little bit more protection to the sides of my ear tabs. And then we just blow dry that through. All right, I did try the unit on. Love, love, love the fit and how it looked. So we are ready to proceed to the next step. Here is the two inch elastic band that I just had purchased off of Amazon. I'm just gonna put that on the unit to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere as I am making sure that it is completely dry before I go ahead and I cut the sheer penny um, holes off. So I'm gonna be very gentle with this process. Again, I'm just trying to do the best that I can because this is my first time ever really trying the ball cap method. So I'm just testing it out right here. All right, so now as far as the ends of the ball cap, I just put a little bit more gel on it and blow dried it dry. Okay, so here I'm attempting to take my toner to clean up some of the edges around the ball cap before I actually go to the next step because it was a little messy, but I will say later on in the video, I decided to, you know, get rid of the toner and use some alcohol. I also used my lace spray on the wig cap as well. So <laughs> kind of wasn't feeling it, but I was just like, let's just, let's just see it through. Let's see it through. So I'm cutting out a little bit more of the ear tab because it just wasn't all the way a good fit. I tried the method from Pink. She has a channel here on YouTube and I just tried to do my best to kind of mimic some of the techniques that she had in that video. But it, it just wasn't the technique for like me, like beginner friendly for me. Personally, I feel like I would try a different technique in the future, but you know, I tried it. This was my first attempt. It came out absolutely gorgeous, but I had a lot of residue on the hairline and I just was not feeling that because this is my first time in a long time putting a wig together and it just, it wasn't a vibe. So I washed that out the next morning and I was getting ready to reapply this unit. So in my attempt to reapply this unit, I took my foundation and one of my little brushes that I got as a Christmas gift from La Chance, and I just brushed that through the cap, making sure, you know, to make, make my hairline blend with the makeup that I'm going to apply later on. So now I have to try and apply this unit again. Of course, I'm learning a different technique this time, but I'm more so trying to be as light with the product as possible because I don't want the same amount of product buildup as I had and during the previous attempt. So I'm being very, very cautious and gentle. Here, I'm just smoothing that spray through, making sure that it's nice and smooth before I lay down the front of this unit. So again, just taking my time, blow dry that dry as well. All right, so now we're moving on to the side. So I am applying some gel first and then I'll apply the spray. Now I will say the spray definitely kind of threw me off a little bit because the spray is very thick and I just had a lot of issues with it. I definitely feel like it's a really, really great spray, but it just, it was a little messy. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down as flat as possible and just push it in with the end of the wig comb. All right, now I'm just gonna blow dry that dry and this is how it looks. I was definitely happy with this finished result. That looks Good. Okay, for my first attempt, this looks amazing. So I was more than ready to go to the next step. Now I did have some excess lace that I had to cut off in the front, which this is the method I'm going to use just going forward in general. This is how that little piece looks in my hand right here. In this clip, I'm taking my hot comb and just gently brushing it up against my edges to make sure that that hair goes back and then forward so you can see my edges. I'm also taking the black gel once again and I'm just gonna gently apply this to the edges because I'm trying to be as light as possible with the product. So I don't want a lot of residue to clean up at the end. So I'm being very, very um, slow with this process and I kinda had to speed up through a, a bunch of clips because it took me a while, okay? All right, so once I was satisfied with applying the gel, I went ahead and just blow dried it dry. 
And now you see me taking the 70% rubbing alcohol, which is way more effective than the toner. And I'm just cleaning up my edges. And I went ahead and I took my foundation brush, whatever excess foundation was on it, I just brushed that onto the edges of my lace. And then I proceeded to flat iron the unit. So here is the first stroke that I did with the flat iron and I was in love, like this was amazing it just brought back so many memories of when i was relaxed and when i used to do this all the time to my hair so i loved this complete process so i'm also taking my lace spray again i want to make sure that my lace looks as natural as possible so yeah i just did whatever felt natural to me so here is the final look at the end result of this second attempt which was my final attempt and i loved it so i'm gonna comb through the unit show you how gorgeous this unit came out it is 14 inches and this is again hd lace so it looks very very realistic i wanted a unit that was very realistic that looks like it could be my hair of course i didn't want anything crazy like 20 inches or 22 inches just something nice and natural for me so yeah take a look at this unit get into it because she did that for sure okay with this being my first attempt in so many years I feel like I did a really good job at laying this unit down, even though it did take me two attempts to get to this final result. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys as far as how this unit looks. Here is a little bit of cell phone footage, but I will definitely be trying this out with a bob next. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.